All right, guys, how's it going? So it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a freaking while. Um, I'm not, like I say, I'm not dead. I'm still not dead. I just uh, haven't been asked to do any videos. <clears throat> I've still been brewing quite a lot. Well, actually, no, less than I would like. Um, but I can't even remember what the last video that I put out was. But this is going to be a little bit of a taste test. I think that was, my camera just getting a bit weird. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, that's, I wish that was my artwork. It's not. This was supposed to be a lemon and lime Saison, brewed with lemon drop and Motuika. And then about three grams <clears throat> kaffir lime leaves in a steep. So like with the uh, primary sugar, chuck that in, boil it up, and then steep the leaves for about 30 minutes-ish. Has it done anything? It's been about three and a half weeks in the bottle. Um, just making sure that bottle's not cracked. It isn't, it's fine. So, yeah. Been a bit underwhelming. Um, I'm yet to perfect using lemon drop hops, to be fair. I think because the, the sort of mid-range sort of alpha acid, you need to kind of need to just whack a load in. Um, so because of the hot weather, um, we were having stupid heat here in well what what by our standards what we're used to in the uk we're actually having a summer is actually what it's known as we're all like oh my god it's too hot well actually what it is is it's a summer stop whinging get over it because it's amazing but it's shit for people like me that don't have a firm fridge i need one um this is a little bit warmer than i would like it um but i've been playing about with sorry um what was i gonna say I've been playing about with a different type of grain bill. So base malt <clears throat> in terms of their percentage um, overall, so sort of like half and half. So Pilsner, uh, pale malt, um, like one, one and a half kilo of each. This had 250 grams of caramel at two and 100 grams of dextrin malt. And it was weird. 10 grams of Wario Bittering, first wort hop edition, and then 100 grams of both Motuika and Lemon Drop throughout the boil and dry hop-ish. 25 grams of each, so 75 grams of each throughout the boil. Um, <clears throat> it's not really hitting me enough. This was meant to be a pale ale recipe, but yeah, the heat. So let's get it cracked open and uh, we'll get you updated on a few things. I'm not, I don't know why I'm pretending like this is the first time I've smoked this beer or had anything to do with it because I've had a load of them. It's been a nice summer drink actually. Because this is a tad warm, I think it's livened up a little bit. I'm gonna leave it there. Carbonation. It's freaking Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I carved this really high. For, for the reasons of I wanted it highly carved. I was hoping the aroma would come through a little bit more maybe. It smells clean. It smells a bit like a Belgian. There we go. Cheers guys. This tastes like a Belgian pale ale, to be fair. Oh well, <laughs> never mind, eh? Um, it would have been nice to have had some like, a kind of like flavour profile on it. There's a little bit of the lime. You are getting a bit of that through there, but it's a bit of a shitter, this. It's nice, it's clean, it's it's an easy drinker. Came out at 4.3. I've had, I've had a couple of lots of Saison's not attenuate properly. This finished at 10.10. Which is fine, which is cool, because that's what it would have been if it would have been a pale. But the t the, um, the saison, you should have dried it out a little bit more. That that's just that's just beautiful, that, isn't it? Mm. 
yeah, it's lovely. Loving it. So, what's new? Um, let me show you. Because I'll take you into a, sorry, people are posting on Facebook and it's coming up on my phone and it's really annoying. Oh, what do we have here? What do I... Oh, it's a spaceship. No, it's a keg. With the world's most feeble gas supply. Hang on, zoom in. Zoom in, can you see it? That's my wife's Bex Blue. Yes, I'm that shitter brew. I buy Bex, Bex Blue to get some flavour. Um, not really. Uh, yeah, so I have a keg. Um, funny story, the wife went out and spent a shitload of money and I went, oh, I want a keg then. And she went, okay. And I went, cool. So there you go. Um, I'm in the thing of actually getting some gas at the minute, so hopefully in the next week or so I should actually have some. Fingers crossed, that was a tip. Um, so yeah, what I'm, uh, uh, what's in there is a another Saison, but I wanted to make it a bit hoppier, so I've used uh, 50 grams of Columbus, 50 grams of, no, 100 grams of Mosaic, no, 150 grams of Mosaic. Um, and it's turning out really nice. It's just carved up nicely in the keg. So obviously there's no fridge. So it's warm, but do I give a shit? No. It's better out of the keg warm than it is out of a barrel warm. Trust me. Um, cast condition compared to keg condition, room temperature, keg. <laughs> Any day of the week. But um, I have bottled a couple off the keg and um, I won't give this away, I won't give what I've got in my hand away too much. But um, yeah, it came up to about there because it foamed, it fobbed a lot. And I was like, oh, never mind. Eh? Uh, more practice, but I'll get there. So yeah, I'm, I'm kegging now. It's awesome, I want another one. Mm. Lovely drink this. Absolutely beautiful. Might rebrew it, but try and uh, up it slightly. Try and make it a bit more prominent. Because uh, <clears throat> I had a Motuika single hop off uh, Steve Ogden. I think he bittered with Magnum or something, but then like the late editions were all Motuika cracking beer. Can't fault him for that. Beautiful beer. Uh, so yeah, I'm still playing about with the old pH and stuff. I seem to be nailing it a bit more. Just would like to brew something other than Saison's, to be honest with you, because it's getting on my tits. So my next brew, um, involves this, it involves this. Um, I'm gonna do a wheat with that. Uh, I don't know whether I'm gonna do a secondary with it or whether I'm gonna chuck it in flame out or something like that. Um, so just see what happens really. I'm undecided on hops at the minute. I haven't really got anything that would probably go with that apart from Citra. So I might just do Citra, Warrior and Citra and just see how we go with it. It's just going to be a nice light um, sort of wheat beer really. So fingers crossed it turns out okay. And uh, yeah, that's it really. Nothing really, really much to report. Um, I do owe quite a few people beer mail still. Yeah, that hasn't happened. Because I've done about f three batches as um, as barrels and I've not, I've not done any bottles of it at all. So I've <clears throat> this is the first set of bottled beer that I've had in about two months. So, just took the old yeast in. Oh, this was fermented with that, the uh, Safael. Um, uh, Saison yeast. That's good, that's nice, that. So, hmm. There we go, fellas. I just thought I'd do a quick video and uh, let you know that I'm not dead. And um, 
I think I'm going to do another video of this because I've got a beer review to do of a guy who sent me some beers really unexpectedly and I need to show him some love. So thanks guys, I've tried, I've tried to be a bit more active on the old YouTube but I'm a fucking idiot and I can't be fucking bothered. Not that I don't love you like, but I can't, I've got other shit to do in my life. Hmm. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, don't do it, unsubscribe. Send me hate mail. I, I don't care, I'll just get drunk either way. Bye,